In your ag report, you may start to see a rise in beef prices this week. Margins for U.S. beef processors soared to record highs after a fire at a Tyson's Food Incorporated slaughterhouse closed down the facility in Holcomb Tech, Kansas. The facility was known to process about 6,000 cattle a day, making up about 5% of the U.S. beef produce. Margins for choice cuts of beef for wholesale buyers climbed 10% last week, and concerns continue to rise about a shortage of hamburger meat and steaks. The White House is defending the president's commitment to U.S. farmers, as many are now reportedly saying they're feeling the direct impact of the U.S.-China trade war. American farmers showing their nervousness, apparently, as a new report shows a decrease in ag equipment sales. The company Deere, John Deere, reporting earnings and sales that missed their forecasted revenue by about 3%. Deere's CEO said in a statement that the results show, quote, the high degree of uncertainty that continues to overshadow the agriculture culture sector sector. The Trump administration is expected to begin paying $14.5 billion to farmers who were hurt by the trade war by the end of this month. U.S. whiskey exporters are struggling to recoup lost sales after shipments to Europe plummeted 21 percent in the last year. According to a Reuters report, foreign governments subject to the president trade tariffs have targeted American distilleries in retaliation. The Distilled Spirits Council says that 63 percent of U.S. whiskey exports have faced retaliatory tariffs in the past. And with new tariffs under consideration, the industry now fears their product will once again become collateral damage. In the 12 months before the 2018 tariffs, the U.S. exported $757 million of rye and bourbon. The following year, exports dropped to just under $600 million.